Chelsea won, West Ham won. I didn't do an analysis at half time, but if I did, I would have probably said this game's going to be 2 or 3 0 to you lot. Um, wow. That was a game of two halves. And if Chelsea were more clinical, then you would have smashed us. So many chances. Hazard and Willian running with the ball is just. I don't know how you stop them. You need to keep hold of them next season because otherwise you're, you're going to be in trouble. Other than that, I mean, I've got to be honest, we were we were poor, really, really poor. First half and through bit to the second half, was, I was thinking to myself, the fuck am I doing here? This is awful. Then we could see we were being stifled up front. I could see it. So Moyes took off a midfielder, brought on Chicharito, and from that, then we had more up front. Then we had more going forward. Um, still, you was catching us on the break and you were so fr so frightening coming forward. It's unbelievable. It's Hazard and William, them two are just ridiculous. But then um, we got our goal and the tide changed. It became then, we, we hold on, we'll, we'll hold on to what we have and we'll sit back and and we, we never really come under much threat. I mean... I mean, we had a ch we had a, you had a chance where Joe Hart tipped over the bar, and you had Pedro volleying it in over the bar, and but you're just not clinical enough, and that's the diff that's the reason why you're not up there with the you know in the Champions League spots because there's a difference between them lot and you lot this season. It's the fact that you're just not taking your chances when you have them. I mean, like I said, if if you would have had if you was more clinical today, you would have. Uh, you would have definitely smashed us because we were bad and we, we've just smashed and grabbed the point there and to be honest I'm obviously over the moon with that that's taken up I mean like I said before the preview before the before the game I said like th this game this game for us is um is a bit of a bonus one to be honest we're not going to be going down or staying up on a result from Chelsea so today we could have we could have just gone out there and got beat to be honest I mean if we got beat we got beat but We've smashed and grabbed because we weren't good. We weren't good. And to be fair, for your standards, for Chelsea Football Club standards, you wasn't good either. And you need to address that in the summer. And you need to keep hold of Hazard and William because them two are ridiculous. Anyway, fan fucking tastic. 1 1. We'll take a point home. We're uh, one more point towards survival. I think we're going to stay up now. I think it's a foregone conclusion after Southampton's loss today. And uh, come on, you irons. Home sweet home. Well, I'm back home. A uh, couple of minutes before midnight. Um, and uh, just cheesed off of it all, really, to tell you the truth. Um, I, uh, I I just thought that we'd, we'd, we'd get a performance today, if anything, for Ray, for Ray Wilkins. And um, those players would have really upped the ante and given it everything. And then we can rest with the Southampton and Burnley game before the Southampton game that really matters, which is the cup game at Wembley, because it makes sense. Or well, today, I thought he chose a very, very strong side. And there were some positive vibes coming out for the manager, obviously, beforehand. And I just thought, you know, with the occasion, which was very emotional, I've got to tell you. And I will say, first and foremost, I thought the club done a really, really good job um, the book of condolence the way they organised that was fantastic and um, obviously the memorial part where it was all set up to for people to go and show their respects for Ray Wilkins I put some flowers, I put some flowers down uh, for everyone from obviously Chelsea to W6 and I wrote also in the book as well a little uh, couple of paragraphs um uh, you know, from, from all at Chelsea SW6 as well. And I just thought it was really done superbly well, including the, the choreography inside the stadium, the shed played their part, and the uh, massive flag in the Matthew Harding, really good. And the video kind of rolling, you know, in the background, showing highlights of Ray Wilkins when he was playing for Chelsea. And just the whole way in which it was done, and then again, on the eighth minute, another minute of applause, superbly. I've got to say, West Ham, they, they did pay their on honour and pay their respects before they went back to slating us. But um, from the 
Ray Wilkins perspective um, for sure I thought they, 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 they played their part and they gave it in a respectful way um, as far as the game's concerned same old same old really we were pretty much in control of it especially the first half we got our goal after missing a host of chances and um, obviously their goalkeeper um, Joe Art who uh, chose the day to, to, to you know probably put in his best performance of the season he made two absolute worldies to deny us and uh, and uh, once again we can't take our chances you know with sh shots that are just going wide at the post or just curling on the outside and but we got a goal went one nil up says Rasper it quite out it was a bit of a bitty goal top sort of thing but nevertheless one nil up and good for it and then uh, second half I thought it was rather we were chipping away but there was no real massive urgency or, or energy the levels weren't exactly there and of course, they bring on Hernandez and they get their equaliser, and then it was a bit desperate then for the last sort of ten minutes. And um, to be fair, they could have nicked it and we could have got one, but it, it just fizzled out to a one-one. Great result for them, and uh, you know, another game where we got to um, watch our opponent supporters walk down the Fulham Road taking the piss, um, and uh, you know. It is what it is, just, uh, but in the scheme of things, it doesn't make a great deal of difference. It's not really important. The points are irrelevant. Uh, where, where we finish now in terms of the league position is, as I say, is completely and utterly just completely irrelevant because if we do want to be in the Europa League, just winning that semi final will be enough to, to guarantee us that because. Our opponents in the final would either be um, Spurs or Man United. Of course, they've got Champions League spots, so that would open up a spot for us with regards to Europa League, whether we get there via the league or not. But for me, the next two games, which, funny enough, is um, Southampton at St Mary's next weekend and in Burnley three days prior, an away game, which, quite frankly, I'd rest the entire team. I wouldn't even get any of them to travel on that. It'd definitely be a fringe fringe side, let's put it like that. And um, we'll take it on the chin, whatever happens, because we know they're going to be right in our faces. Uh, you know, because they want to beat Chelsea. And um, But no, it just cheesed off from the point of view where I just feel we could have just maybe lifted it a little bit more and, um, and got that little result, you know, um, for Ray Wilkins. But uh, it wasn't the B. And... Um, 2018 has been absolutely poor, piss poor, really poor. Um, but um, as I say, we move on to the next game where hopefully we're going to use a bit of logic and, and rest. And then, as I say, the one after that, we rest massively. Because as I keep saying, there's only one game that matters, which could open up for another, which is what we want uh, for an FA Cup final. And hopefully end this incredibly horrible season um, with a bit of success. There you go. Speak to John Bumstead, ex-Chelsea player. Over 400 games. All good ones, by the way. Don't forget to subscribe to Chelsea SW6.